Mike, thank you very much. Well, we're talking Thanksgiving. Kate Spears from Southern Bell Simple is here now with some simple ideas. We're talking about some easy appetizers, a craft, and some holiday treats for your kids' lunchbox. Good to see you. Thank you. How are you as doing? As soon as I walked up, I was just like swooning over all the stuff you oh, have over here. Oh, you're so sweet. Thanks. You always have such good ideas. Well, I try to keep it really simple. Yes. I don't like to feel like a failure or that my <laughs> ideas don't work or can't be no, repeated. No, no, no Pinterest fails on a here. Low budget, so. Well, so are we going to start with the appetizer first? Yeah, so this, okay. and honestly, I thought I had seen everything that you could do with crescent rolls, but I was really excited because this was like a little bit of a twist. Yeah. So the secret for these little pinwheels is actually in the way you cut the dough. Okay. So I don't know if they can see this from overhead, but you've got your little triangles there, and then you're basically cutting these little strips in the triangle okay. where it's almost like a tassel. Oh. So you've got like a little, let me see if I can hold it up. Like yeah. you've got a little bit more surface okay. area there. Gotcha. And then you just kind of roll this up into itself oh. and it makes this little like twisty thing. Yeah. I mean, it's not, you know, like groundbreaking, but wow. it's cute and fun. And so Look then you've that. got, yeah. That's and so, so simple. I just stuffed like a tiny little bit of brie down in the center. If you don't like brie, you could use another kind of cheese. Okay. That's no big deal. These bake for like 10 to 12 minutes. Did you just follow the package? Yeah. Okay. 375. And then I just kind of kept an eye on them. But you could just add the little cranberry uh, relish at the end because I, I think that. it makes like the prettiest little color. What a great idea for an appetizer. Then you don't have to go through the whole thing of making like a big one of those, right. which is very time consuming. Right. And also I think when people get there, sometimes, you know, things aren't cooking as quickly and they're starving. You, you don't want someone something. like picking at the food while I'm you're totally still. I'm totally going to make this for Thanksgiving. Yeah. I will send you a picture. That's okay, a great good, idea. Good. So these are for um, kids lunch boxes. Yeah. So I was thinking just kind of in the remaining days up through the holiday, it mm -hmm. might be fun to add some little goodies to the lunch boxes and I mean honestly anything can become a turkey because you know <laughs> yes it can so like this little guy this little oatmeal cream oh, pie. Look at that. I mean come on googly eyes it's like it's the best yeah, it's of super. course the kids are definitely gonna eat it now <laughs> and I love this little foam these little foam sheets that are kind of sticky on the back it just makes it so easy and yeah. honestly you could even get the kids involved you know, they could help That's make so this fun. stuff. And, and you've just picked this up at like the dollar store. Yeah, and yeah. they have a ton of little craft supplies now, more than they did before. Cute. And then I did the same thing with this little um, pudding cup guy, <laughs> which I think is very cute. A little turkey pudding cup, but so th cute. These could also be something you did on Thanksgiving, maybe while mom is cooking or dad is cooking, you know. We'll give the kids something to, kind to of do, have because it is spend several hours in the kitchen. Right. So you got to do something, right? Or maybe grandma gets there and then she yeah. can take the Yeah. Well, you know what else I love? They could probably do this too while the parents are cooking. You're painting with broccoli. I know, right? So That's we're painting cute. with broccoli. Um, I was thinking this would be really cute to make some little place cards. Yeah. So I made some here. I just got started with these. Okay. But I drew, if you want to maybe yeah. do one. Let's do one. I drew kind of like a little tree. Okay. And then just, I squirted like a few different fallish colors there and you can just kind of mix those so together. All you gotta do is dip it in. Right and then just create your tree with How this like Bob Ross would say your happy little that? tree. But I thought That's that would adorable. just be very fun and easy. Super easy. And then you could write your name Look on there. Oh, can or we see? Oh, you're looking up this way. Oh, yeah. so cute. That's adorable. So again. What kind of paint are you using This here? is just acrylic paint. I have a collection of just colors and things, but you could pick this up again at like the Dollar Tree. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money, but just some white cardstock and your broccoli, which you might have separate from the broccoli that you're serving for yeah, lunch that day. perfect. So many good ideas. And you Thank have so you. many more on your website. Where can people find you? So southernbellsimple.com. They can go to the site. I tried to put all of these on there, plus other things from Thanksgiving past. Okay. And just other ideas that folks might want to check all out. All the good stuff. Kate, good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, you too. All